Hello everyone, welcome back in Cool IT Help. In this tutorial session, we are going to install Flutter in Visual Studio Code on Windows 10. Let's get it started. So I have uh, mentioned the very simple way and these four steps required for the complete installation. Let's get it started with the step one. In the step one, you guys have to download Flutter SDK and you have to set up on your Windows 10. So this is uh, process has been explained in this video tutorial the link is given in the description so guys just watch this tutorial and you will see the complete flutter download and installation on windows 10 please uh, complete this step one and then come back in this tutorial and start with this step two in the step two we have to download the visual studio code and we have to install it so this is the download link and the same link is given in the description box copy this link and open in an address bar and then you will see this official visual studio code download page and here in this windows section we have to select the perfect installer for our machine right now i am working on 64 bit if you are working with 32 bit machine so you can choose the 32 bit link and uh, this installer will work under this section for windows 7 8 or 10 so guys once you click on that link you will see this message and your downloading will start within a second and you can see on the left hand side downloading is in progress and the size is 54 mb that's it i have already downloaded the exe now i'm going to install just double click on this exe and at the very first window i have uh, found click next and this is the installation location if you want to save it please note it down click next and this is the start menu folder name click next at this place uh, if you want to display the icon so select desktop icon and then click next and the installation procedure will start and this will take two to three minutes and this is very fast i like the beauty of uh, microsoft visual studio and this is done and finally launch the visual studio okay guys we are inside the very first welcome screen of the visual studio code and this ui is very awesome inside the visual studio code now we have completed the step two now we are proceeding with the step three so go to the views then select the extensions and in this search box we have to type flutter we are going to install the flutter plugin and dart plugin click on this then this will be open the details will appear right here on this side and this is a small uh, install button click on it once and the installation will be done very smoothly and uh, as well as uh, this will install the dependency uh, which is a dart plugin that already installed that once we have installed the flutter so at the time of installation of the flutter plugin this is automatically fetched and installed because that has the dependency on that so we have done with the extension and that we have installed in the visual studio code now we are going to create our first application and uh, we will run this thing this app on android device so go to the views select the command palettes and in this search box we have to select new project or you can type the new project and right in the box we have to provide the project name and make sure you have to give the project name in lower case upper case this will not accept and on the fly this will show you the error message so i am giving a very basic name my flutter underscore app hit enter and then this will open this browse box and uh, this will ask you to give a location on that location this will create the uh, project folder and all the project files will be m created in this given folder okay this will take one minute maximum to set up the project and you can see the hierarchy of the project is open the android and ios folder is there 
and the main folder is lib in which we have the main program files for the android we have to exactly a code in this file and we have to do some changes we have to wait until this finish and uh, finally we will see uh, the file main dot dart this is the main and the starting file of the our application this is open it on this code editing area and you can see the look and feel is very awesome and uh, right here i am doing a small change i am cha um, uh, changing the title of the home page giving the name welcome cool it help and just save the file now we have to connect the device so connect any android device and please enable the usb debugging like this once you enable the usb debugging you will see uh, your device name on the right corner look at this my device is detected and showing me right here one device connected message and finally uh, to run the application on the device select start debugging or uh, select the run without debugging any one of them and the process will start so griddle build uh, the griddle task is started and started building the our application and then once the uh, apk is ready this will be deployed automatically on your device the in the connected device so we have to wait for uh, two three minutes now you can see the console we are uh, getting the messages built build and uh, this is debug slash app hyphen debug dot apk is ready now it is installing inside the device in next few minutes uh, this app will be displayed on the device now you guys can see this is my connected device android device and the application is loaded and simply this is a single button a uh, tap button functionality is there and this is incrementing the counter now let me show you once again this is the icon of the flutter app this is loaded properly and working fine right here in this device and you can see on the right hand side this is open it in a debug mode so the message on the right corner we are getting the strip the debug is written and uh, this is the way you can connect and run your first flutter application on your device and uh, this visual studio will ask you for installation of the dart dev tool so please accept if you want to stop just go there and click on this red square so the debugging will be stopped and guys this is the whole process you can uh, install the flutter in your visual studio code on windows 10 i hope you guys found this tutorial useful please like this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe my channel uh, guys uh, press the bell icon so you will get the latest video updates on time for now thanks for watching cool it help